Fans of the grunge genre from all across the world descended upon Seattle this week to celebrate the legacy of late Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain, who is considered one of the most prolific songwriters of the 20th century. The beloved musician took his own life 30 years ago on April 5th, 1994. When I was definitely in my early 20s and I was confused about life and what I wanted out of it, a lot of that resonated with me, a lot of the frustration in the music that resonated with me a lot. I grew up with the music, I'm a fan of the music, of all music, but my favorite is Nirvana. And to me, the music of Nirvana is a music, a sincerely music. And punk music to me is, is like the, the way of being alive, it's a way of life to me, Nirvana. Nirvana for me is the, uh, like a philosophy to, uh, Respect women, uh, do it yourself, uh, rock and roll. <laughs> That's to me Nirvana and uh, the legacy of Cobain. I see the legacy as the music, really. I mean, for me, for me personally, it's it's really about the music and the power of the music and the staying power of it. I don't really think as a as a personality, as a celebrity, he would he would have that spot that he still maintains if it wasn't for the the power and the veracity and 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 of the music. I don't think he wanted to be famous per se, but I think he wanted to be well known and accepted. I think for him, I mean, there's a there's a lost period there that that people have talked about in Olympia where he, when Dave Grohl first joined the band and he and Chris and Kurt just went into a cold warehouse, lived on top ramen for six months and just practiced, practiced, practiced. And it was, I, I believe it was too much for him once he actually, you know, got there. I don't think he knew how to, to deal with it. Um, I don't think any of us really would have, honestly, or at least I wouldn't have. And then, you know, all the, the pressures of the industry and having a child and all that stuff. I think the legacy of Kurt Cobain is multifaceted. There's the personal legacy for people like me who knew him and knew his music and saw the band. And that's a loss of a human being. And that is an extra layer of grief for that. And I think all of Seattle feels that. We felt like he was ours in Washington State, and his death and, and the tragedy of that is something that's still really felt deeply as a personal loss. But I think his legacy after 30 years after his death is more in the work that he created and how that has consistently sustained. Um, he's considered a better songwriter now than he was 30 years ago. I look at his life Instead, in a way, I find an incredible gift out of it, the fact that he was able to create this and live as long as he did and create this work, I see it in a bizarre way as a victory. Yes, losing him at 27 so young and so in the prime of life is, is a horrible tragedy, but given how difficult his life was and how often suicide and drugs had been an issue, it's a miracle in the way we got as much of Kurt Cobain as we did. 